Hey, hey, hello, I'm Kjokan, also known as Corvus Cornix, and welcome to Classy Movie Rambles, where I talk about all movies that I found in my class about cleaning. This week's movie is Wallace and Gromit's Curse of the Were Rabbit, and it's about 1 hour and 21 minutes long, and it starts with a policeman patrolling the, the town at night, and then cutting to Wallace and Gromit getting prepared for the workday. And they have this uh, sort of agency where they are doing pest control, they're catching rabbits, and they've been doing it for a while, and they actually don't kill the rabbits, they keep it in their basement. So uh, Gromit tries to put Wallace on a, th- on a vegetable diet because he's gained a lot of weight, but it's not going that well. And then they get a huge commission at this mansion by a lady, which is sort of a love interest for Wallace. And they use this huge uh, hovering sort of vacuum to vacuum all these rabbit owls, rabbits up because there's like a huge infestation. And there's also some guy there, it's like a rivalry between Wallace and uh, and him and I don't think that Wallace is clever enough to understand this but it's kind of funny and then Wallace gets the brilliant idea because he's an inventor he invents this machine that will brainwash all the rab- rabbits until um, they don't like vegetables anymore and of course it backfires and they assume that one of the rabbits is turned into a monster and it's terrorizing the area eating all the crops so Wallace and Gromit and this crazy hunter is put on a job to actually capture this monster and Gromit actually managed to capture it while in this car and he get dragged with it through an underground tunnel. So it's a really cool effect and it turns out that actually uh, Wallace is the big monster and he actually um, due to some complication with the machine and he goes on a date with the lady ship, the one with the rabbit infested uh, mansion and Gromit picks him up and just for him to turn into the were-rabbit where the hunter confronts him and Wallace managed to escape and then Gromit has to confront Wallace about him being the the were-rabbit and he does so so they actually figure out what's going on and it ends up at a like a there's this harvest festival that's the whole movie's been building up to so they go there and it turns into a chase but it all ends on a good note and uh things return to normal they actually managed to reverse the effect somewhat because apparently one of the rabbits and wallace actually switch brains or functions in the brain so there's a hyper intelligent rabbit and a a weird guy eating vegetables and that's pretty much the end of the movie that's on a good note so what did i think about this movie i enjoyed it because it's one of those classic movies everything is handmade from clay and wires and if this movie was made today it would more or less be pointless because it would all be cg and stuff and uh, it's kind of interesting the idea of like moving a clay puppet like uh, 24 frames per second so you move a pen for instance like 24 times in well one second painstakingly moving a clay figure making it do all kinds of like mouth movements and gestures and making it fun to watch that must be a really hard task to do so i don't think i can recommend this movie but i enjoyed it because i i like old school stuff because i'm old i guess i i don't know they made a good movie and i enjoyed it i um So I enjoyed it, but I can probably not recommend it. That's probably what I'm trying to say. So anyway, thanks for listening and watching and take care.